Sound and speed, camera and speed and action! Welcome to another Create Greg video. In today's episode we will talk about ultra compact solution for sound recording. And when we talk about ultra compact, the first thing which pop in our mind is the size. The smaller, the better. Kind of. There is exception when you work with high-end paint clients. I would recommend to build up your camera and make it as big as possible to give to some of them this unjustified feeling that the money they spent on the budget was worth it. That will be story for an older video. Today let's focus on how to make it compact. As a rule of thumb, we try to minimize the equipment we've got so we can you know move faster. We just press record button and we are ready to go. But what's even more important than ultra compact solution will be reliability. One of my favorite quotes from Navy SEALs goes, two is one, one is none. So basically you must have a double solution to recording sound just in the event of one of them underperform or call the signal too high or too low. And I thought I've got the solution, portable microphone and the top microphone. However, this video is about the ultra compact solution. So bringing camera with the handle monitor and all the bits and pieces on the top of that won't cut the deal. There is a one thing I need to buy in order to trim the setup and make it ultra compact as well as reliable. Then jump online, order it and see you tomorrow. Personal arrive, but before we dive into what we got inside, let's talk about Rode Video Mic Go 2. The latest addition to microphone family from Rode. Is it any good? I think it's brilliant. And to back up my statement, let's start with talking about the quality of this microphone. In general, the quality is very subjective. So some people might like it, some people don't. So the best way to talk about it is to stick it in front of my face and then see how this one records so one two three four microphone tests do you like it or not let me know down in comments the second thing would be the size of the microphone it's small so it fits perfectly in youtube video called ultra compact microphone solution Next, let's talk about the inputs. We've got three and a half millimeter jack, which is omnipresent and available in pretty much every single camera. Then we've got unusual one, USB-C. And this solution will blow your mind. So stay with me until the end because I'll need to devote a bit of more time to explain what kind of benefits you can get from it. Next, battery. There is no battery inside, which is perfect because you don't have to worry about the charging battery or replacing battery. It connects, once it's connected, it's directly on, so very convenient solution. Next on my list is shielding, and yes, indeed, this microphone has shielding, so you can use with wireless devices like Rode Wireless Go. What does it mean? It will not cause any interference, so you can record sound without any harms or distortion of the sound. Very useful because you can use that wireless devices to extend your microphone and use it in a different location away from your camera. Next, let's talk about the price. This one is fairly pricey because you pay 90 pounds or 100 USA dollars. I will look at it as an investment because it is well worth it. So if you spend that money, I can guarantee you it will pay back for itself. But if you compare it to XLR solution, we're more towards pro consumer, they can be very expensive. So this 90 pounds sounds like a good deal. The last thing would be reliability. And I've been using Rode product for quite some time and I've never had any issue with them. Once upon a time, I had an issue with one of this wireless go, namely one of the buttons stopped working. I couldn't turn it on and off. So I sent it back to Rode. I got the new one and since then no issue, but Taking that into consideration, let's talk how you can make reliable solution with what we have here, just in case if one of your recording devices fails. With the latest Rode Wireless Got, we've got two transmitters and one receiver. Thanks to that solution, we can record two channels at the same time. In our case, we connected to channel number one, our video might go. And then to our second channel, we connected our redundancy solution, which is label mic in that case. 
then we can separate these two audio tracks in post-production while having a perfect solution in the event if one of this microphone would fail. As we agreed at the beginning, this video is about ultra compact solutions, so everything what you see here is uh, overkill and this is where our package come into place. So we've got this Peter cable from Rode to downsize our camera while keeping it reliable by recording on both channels at the same time. And that's our ultra compact solution to record on the go. Very straightforward, light, compatible with our mantra two is one, one is none. We've got the Rode Video Mic Go 2 on the top and this one is connected through that splitter cable to our audio input and it records on one of the channels. Then the second channel got the signal from Rode Wireless Go which is connected wirelessly to this transmitter with label mic at the end. So I can record both the signal from one mic and the other one to the camera at the same time having redundancy and the perfect ultra compact solution. Let's try this one outside and see how this solution works in real life before we got completely wet. So we've got our label mic over there, then we've got the microphone on the top and each of them they are recorded separately to each of the channels. So let's test one of them. Microphone test, one, two, three, one, two, three microphone test one two three one two three so now you can see and compare how each of them work and how this redundancy solution can play a major role when you shoot like a vlog as i mentioned there is plenty of advantages for that microphone as we discussed already one of the disadvantages is you will not get a fairy windshield in the box so if you shoot in the environment with a lot of wind you might need to get one to get even better sound as i mentioned previously there is one more function with regards to usb-c and let's dive into that right now so you can connect your video Rode Mic Go 2 to laptop via USB-C cable and then use additional 3.5mm jack to plug in your headphones to monitor sound at the same time. How cool is that? Just imagine when you shoot on location sound to external device and this device goes down, then you can use your microphone and laptop as a backup option. When you go to Rode website, they recommend to buy their own cable. However, you don't have to do it. You can use any other data cable. As a rule of thumb, look for a thick cable because it means it's data. When it's a thin, it's highly likely it's just only power cable like this one from Rode Wireless Go. You can charge your device, but you cannot connect your microphone to your laptop because you will not send the audio signal. Once it's plugged to your computer, you go to your volume option and then you click your output device. In our case, we wrote the video mic go to. Then you click again while keeping the option key and then you can choose the input device from the menu. On the top of that, you can install a Rode Central app and get additional features for your video mic go like pad this one which allow you to lower the sensitivity of your microphone by 20 db and should be used if you keep the microphone in close proximity to your mouth next you can control the input level of the microphone as simple as it sound high pass filter for cutting out low frequency sounds like air conditioning next is high frequency boost to be used with optional theory windshield and the last and the coolest one is direct monitoring and you can use it to adjust the mix of the sound from the microphone with the sound from the computer if you would like to use for a zoom call for instance. So today we explore plenty of creative solutions of using this ultra compact microphone on the top of the camera with your laptop so how about putting at the end of the boom pole with Rode Wireless Go and make a complete wireless solution. I remember like 20 years ago when I worked on the movie set I saw for the first time wireless wireless boom pole. It has been made by Sennheiser and it costs an arm and leg, but that's the past. Guys, if you would like to learn more about how to get crispy audio in your video, this video will definitely help.